Question 12, Richard Lyle. Thank you, President Officer. To ask the Scottish Government how it supports employment in the steel industry in North Lanarkshire. Cabinet Secretary John Swinney. The Scottish Government recognises the importance steel manufacturing makes to Scottish industry, particularly in the construction and growing renewable energy markets. We provide a wide range of practical advice and support to companies through the Business Gateway, Scottish Enterprise and Scottish Development International. Richard I thank the Cabinet Secretary for that answer. Is the Cabinet Secretary aware that the North Lanarkshire Council Labour Group have put uh, an election leaflet stating that all steel requirements for the new fourth bridge could have been sourced in North Lanarkshire? Does the Minister agree with me that North Lanarkshire no longer has the capacity to provide a majority of the steel required to build a new bridge since Ravenscraig was closed by the Tories years ago, and as usual, Labour are being not truthful at this time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, I think, uh, I, I think what I would say to uh, Mr Lyle is two things. First of all, that the government does uh, all that it can to support the development of manufacturing opportunities within Scotland, and as Mr Ewing has just cited, there are a whole range of new opportunities emerging in the manufacturing sector as a consequence of the very clear policy direction which the government has established around the renewable energy sector. And clearly that will it, it, it create employment and business opportunities for the steel industry in Scotland. The second point is that I do not think Mr Lyle should be surprised by anything the Labour Party is prepared to put on a leaflet at this particular time in the calendar year. <laughs> Just one member to be cautious with the language. Uh, supplementary from Michael McMahon. Thank you, Deputy President. Also, uh, I do have a question on the steel industry, Cabinet Secretary. But before I do, can I just ask you to recognise, along with myself, that today is the last time uh, in the past 36 years that Richard Lyle will be able to call himself Councillor Richard Lyle. And I think it is absolutely appropriate that we should recognise the 36 years of service that he has given to the community of Orbison and Bells Hill. <laughs> We haven't always agreed, and we won't agree on this issue. Um, but will the Cabinet Secretary recognise that on the 3rd of February, it, representatives of the STUC, the Community uh, Trade Union, and local MPs and MSPs met with Tata Steel to talk about the failure of the Scottish Government to give the contract, which would have given them an opportunity to uh, supply steel for the fourth bridge? DL Steelworks is geared up to meet the demands of the wind. Uh, offshore wind sector. It can't afford to be overlooked in that respect, Cabinet Secretary. Will you give a commitment that that will not happen? Cabinet Secretary. Well, let, 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 me, let me start on the very generous comments that Mr McMahon made about um, Councillor Lyle, if I can still call him that. Um, and uh, I think uh, Mr McMahon's comments are uh, generous and, 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 and well made about the length of public service that uh, Richard Lyle has given in the North Lanarkshire area as a local authority representative. He does, of course, uh, continue in his representation here in the Scottish Parliament, where he is very welcome. But I think Mr McMahon makes a very generous tribute today with which I associate the Government. In relation to the points on the steel industry, uh, I do come back to what I said in my original answer to, uh, to Mr Lyle, that the Government uh, wants to do everything it can to support the development of the steel industry in Scotland. Uh, Mr Ewing has met with uh, Tata Steel and has agreed that Scottish Development International will work with the company in making sure that Tata is able to meet um, all possible opportunities that uh, can be, uh, it, is, it is able to supply within Scotland. I think there is a particular opportunity in relation to the renewable energy sector. That is why the Government sees uh, the renewables uh, opportunities as being so redolent uh, with employment and investment opportunities for Scotland. Uh, I saw more of that when I was in Japan and Korea um, just over a week ago, and we will per pursue um, these opportunities uh, to the maximum benefit of the people of Scotland. And I can assure Mr McMahon that that will include Tata Steel as one of the key producers within the Scottish economy. Thank you.